like that. Oh, We're back again. Uncle Bo Cow in the freaking building. Got a new sauce that we never reviewed, but I've had this for a while. So this is from Ruthless Reaper. Thank you, Ian. This is La Larona. La Larona. You got to roll the freaking tongue, jabroni, if you want to pronounce it correctly. All right. I got a, I, we got a, a nice grilled breakfast Sammy here. And, and, and my curtain is a mess right now. What did I do? I, I don't know. I, I got a, a spoon, so we're going to do a solo bite. <clears throat> well, we can look at the ingredients if you want. I got my little lightsaber here. Oh, look at that. All right, here we go. Aji Amarillo, Chipotle, white wine vinegar, Carolina Reaper, yellow onion, garlic, cinnamon, thyme, oregano, and lime juice. Got a little, little Cincinnati in there. You guys have seen me review <coughs> his uh, gin sauce. I absolutely love that stuff. It's so good. <coughs> and it's got good heat to it, too. So this one is La Larona from Ruthless Reaper. First, we're going to do a solo. We're going to do a solo bite for the masses. Oh, yeah. There it is. La Larona, Ruthless Reaper. I'm Uncle Bocal. I think. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Home run sauce. You can barely taste the spices, the cinnamon and thyme. They're the undertone, right? The average person's not going to know they're in there unless they read the ingredients. Um... But if anyone is familiar with 16 and 16 Greek meat sauce or hot dog chili, 16 spices, 16 ingredients for cooked for 16 hours. <clears throat> it's very similar to a, a Cincinnati long cooked chili that they put on hot dogs. There's cinnamon in there. There's thyme in there. Greek oregano and other spices. You don't know they're in there. Because they just mend well with it. They, they give it the body, right? This is similar to that. Um, it's got some heat to it. I can uh, feel that reaper in the back of the throat. And yes, it is ruthless. All right. Breakfast sandwich. Look at that big old grilled. It's like a grilled cheese with egg and hash brown in the middle. What, what, what else can you ask for in a sandwich, right? Smother it. Wow. Phenomenal. Good heat. It's got a good kick to it. But the vinegar, the onion, the peppers, and the spices in this sauce all work perfect with each other. Not too hot. A non-chili head, yeah, it's going to light you up. But you're going to come back for more. You're just not going to put as much as I did. That's all. You're going to eat some. You're going to eat it. Um... Chili heads, you're going to give it its props for heat, as it does have heat. Everyone is going to give it praise for its flavor. Excellent sauce. And Ian sent me that a while back. And I just, uh, you know, you know how it is. You get reviewing stuff. And I'm not the type. If someone sends me something exclusive and says, hey, I need an answer back on that right away. Um... Like Ian did. He, got, he sent me another sauce. I have it worked up. No label. He just said, let me know uh, what, what, I, what, you know, what I thought. So that one, I um, tried it right away. Well, besides that, someone sends me something. I usually try to get... They send me two products. Try to get one review done right away. Um, and the other one, whenever. You see, I got the North Face on. That can only mean one thing. And yeah, I'm not going to wear shorts today. I'm going to wear pants, believe it or not. Um, Vic Klinko would be very disappointed to hear that. Me and him are the, sh the short gang brothers, right? It's 
15 degrees out right now. And I'm like, North Carolina? We're north? Yeah. Carolina? No. Well, phenomenal sauce. Perfect balance of salt, spices, vinegar, peppers, and onion. I'm sitting here just decimating this bottle. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I don't know if anyone's seen my short. <laughs> <clears throat> so one of my coworkers, um, she actually, she worked with me um, where I work now, but she's in a, she actually, she's in another location. She stopped by yesterday. She gave me some of these little meat sticks, spicy Duke's meat sticks. They're really good. Um, on some hot tamales, she's like, here, happy birthday. So, anyways, I was eating some of them. I did a little short, you know, here on YouTube. And I put, no reaction. <laughs> and boy, oh boy. You know, look at those people that take it serious. Someone commented, you're not spicy can, C-A-N. I think they meant cam. And then it said, um, you are, capital U, capital R, 50. Good good grammar, buddy, whoever you are. And something else, I don't know what it was, but I'm just like, damn right I'm not spicy can. <laughs> spicy can doesn't let people see him burn. Now, I've seen stuff where I know he didn't fake it or spit it out. He didn't cut the video. I've seen Spicy Cam eat some really hot stuff. Then he shuts the video off after he's done chewing it. I know that it burned him, okay? <clears throat> so I'm not accusing him in those instances of faking anything. But he cut the video, so you can't watch his, his reaction. But... These guys got rich off of this stuff. You know? No reaction. And they have loyal followers that believe them. Like Lucas did that with a giant pocky chip. <clears throat> um, giant takis, all this crazy stuff. Like, there's people out there that really believe it, a lot of them. And the best part is ones that don't believe it but are brutally attacking these guys every day because that's the reason that they went viral. Getting trolled, right? Think about Island Boys. Think about Uncle Bokow shooting them into super viralness with one video on TikTok three years ago. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> um... In one sense, I don't like that these people are fake, that these these mukbang people are. But in another sense, watching how nasty people are to them, uh, it's like one side of my brain is like, heck yeah, man. They just got rich off of you being mean to them, you know? So, I don't know. It's the crazy world we live in. All I know is that you need to go get some Ruthless Reaper, La La Rona. And, and just do half a bottle with your breakfast or whatever. I've still got half a sandwich left. This bottle is going to be three quarters of the way gone. You know what I'm saying? Because Uncle Bokow, what? Freaking loves you. What?